Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here and today we're going to be going over the 2020 Ram 1500 Limited. As you can see here, we have this in the new color. So this is the bright white, which is a new paint option for 2020 with the Ram 1500 Limiteds. But as always, we're going to do a quick walk around on the truck, then we're going to take it out to see how it drives. A big shout out and thank you to the Larry H. Miller Dodge Ram Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy for providing us with the vehicle. If you're on the market for a new truck, check these guys out out. Well, under the hood here we have a naturally aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that goes through an 8 speed automatic transmission and now the limiteds can only come with that with the e-torque system so that gives you 130 pound feet of torque off of the line with the e-torque or you can get the e-torque 3.6 liter V6. You can no longer get a standard V8 Hemi without e-torque on the limited. Power outputs on the Hemi though, 395 horsepower, 410 pound feet of torque. And then fuel economy is going to be 17 around town and then 22 on the highway with this e-torque Hemi. So coming around up front, you can see that the bright white is kind of like the flat light so you don't have that crystal kind of effect that that ivory tri coat has so it's kind of a little bit of a downgrade to be honest but anyways you've got the projector bulbs up front here with the led accent lights and they are dynamic lights so they'll kind of move um, at nighttime and all that which is pretty cool led fog lights parking sensors all integrated chrome tow hooks everything on this front end looks identical and then i will get my hands on that new black appearance group once it comes out with the limiteds and we'll do a review on that so you can kind of see the difference between the looks of this and then that around the side here we have the 22 inch rims 275 millimeter tires in the front and then over there in the rear as well still get all of the limited badging with the ram badging right there on the side and then let me back up just so you guys can kind of get a side profile of the truck that's pretty much unchanged from 19. here is the key fob for the 2019 limited so you can see the bunch of functions on it you've got your lock and unlock your tailgate release your remote start and your air suspension button right now Let's do the remote start. So you have to do is press that twice. I didn't press it hard enough. You can hear that 5.7 liter V8 come to life. Press it again and that'll shut that right off. And if you press that button, that'll slow lower down the tailgate. Limiteds come standard with a bed liner in them. So you can see full bed liner, LED bed lights. And then this one has the cargo sliders as well. You can see that you've got the power rear setting window there in the back. This one's a 5.7 liter bed, not 5.7, five foot seven bed. You can get a 6.4 bed as well as an option. Most people will order this 5.7 bed though. And then you can pick up the tailgate. Locks in place nicely. You got the little Ram logo back there. Dual outlet exhausts, parking sensors. And then you can see you've got the little plugins for towing. Full LED lights here in the back as well with the limited. And then this one's got that new step thing. So. Give me a second, I've gotta figure out how to kick this out. It's like a kick step, you just gotta you just gotta hit it the right way. Hey guys, so I figured it out, you gotta step like right there and then it'll pop out. So it's like a little kick step, helps you getting in and out of the bed and then to get it back in, you just, yeah, kick it back in like that. Pretty straightforward, kind of, took me a second though. User error, as always. So opening up the back here, we can see the door panel here in the rear. You've got full leather here with the stitching, more leather, wood trim, contrasted stitching again and more leather. Pretty much identical to what was in the 2019. Still get that like custom embroidery. And then you got little power stuff that'll pop just below. Here is the speaker for the Harman Kardon sound system. 19 speaker sound system with a subwoofer. And you'll notice the interior. This will all look identical to what the 19 looks like. Still get the storage on the floor. Still get the little ice buckets here. You still get the little charging stations with the full power outlet and then heated and ventilated seats, cup holders in the rear with more of the wood trim, more of kind of like the embroidery, all that. So everything back here pretty much looks identical. Now coming up to the front, we've got keyless entry. So one touch to lock it and then to unlock it, you just have to put your hand on the back of the door handle, that'll unlock it. And then this one does have the power folding mirrors. This is becoming more popular because you get the 360 camera system with those power folding mirrors. But anyways, side steps still pop open just like that. And then you know, this door panel looks pretty much identical to the one in the rear. So leather with the stitching. And again, with the wood trim right there, more of the embroidery leather, all of your window controls right here, the button for the power folding mirrors. And then you've got all of your controls for the memory seats and then a couple more speakers for that Harman Kardon sound system. Over here on the seat, you're gonna notice some controls. So you've got your controls for the power adjustments on these seats. You've got lumbar support as well. And then you can look at these seats 
seats again with the beautiful leather. They've got some nice piping on it. Israel leather in the limited. This again, unchanged from 19, looks identical to the 2019s. You can see the pedal layout just down below here. The power adjustable pedals here, your parking brake, light controls, and then those are the dimmers. You get your fog lights and then you've got your cargo light right there. So this whole setup, steering wheel still manually adjustable, that's all the same. Now to start up the Limited, all you have to do is put your foot on the brake, push the push start, and it'll start right up. The gauges will do a sweep, and then we'll just go over the steering wheel first and foremost. So you've got your cruise control controls right there. You have the functions. Oh, don't wanna get copyrighted. Don't turn on radio. You've got your functions for the adaptive cruise control, your gear selector right here, and then those are for the little center screen. We'll go over that momentarily. Voice command controls, and then wood trim, leather, more wood trim all around the steering wheel. Very beautiful steering wheel, but again, same as 2019. You can see the gauge cluster right here, so we've got the RPMs over there, and then you've got the speed there, and then you've got that little center screen you can scroll through. A bunch of different little menus on the truck. I'll just scroll through these so you guys can kind of see them, but. This is going to look identical to what it is, so they haven't changed anything on that side of things with the truck. Over here, we've still got the 12-inch touchscreen, so we've got a couple functions on the top, so you can see that you've got your lane departure assistance button and then your parallel and perpendicular parking assistance. There's a little 12-volt charging stations above. Still get the wood trim all around. Still get the analog controls on the side for the climate. Still get analog radio controls on the side, and then on the bottom, parking sensors, tow haul mode, stability control, air suspension, which right now I have in the off-road mode so that's why it's so high and then your trailer brakes are integrated right there and then let's get into the whole touchscreen situation here so you can see that very responsive this 12 inch touchscreen came out in 2019 super super solid on it really easy to use in general but again i don't notice anything that's different um, from this screen to the 19 it still has the dual screen function still can deploy the steps if you want looks like you still backup camera even looks identical on that and then you've got the surround view camera system right here and again i mean it you can see all the different views sorry if i'm going through hit this a little bit too fast oh wrong button but yeah i mean it all it all pretty much looks the same still got that bird's eye view everything and you can see as i turn the steering wheel the little lines will turn with it now we've got our controls here for the gear selector and then you can see right here you can do the different drive modes. So you got your two wheel drive, four wheel auto, four wheel high, four wheel low, and then you've got your auto stop start and then still the dial shifter. They are never gonna change it, I think. And then over here, we've got the whole center console setup. So still says limited on the top. And then you can see you still get the nice suede there. And my backpack's in the way. Tons of storage space underneath. Still get the max fill. This still slides back and forth in this truck. Still get the wireless charging and little power outlet down there. and. If we open up the glove boxes here, lined with felt on both of them, and they still have the wood paneling on them, still have the beautiful leather all around them. I mean, everything still feels and looks really nice, just like it did last year. Now up top here, we've got all of our controls for the sunroof and then the power rear setting window. You can see that button will open or close the power rear setting window, your light controls. It is a full panoramic sunroof here in this particular Limited, you, I mean, that's the only thing you can get is either no center for panoramic. Anyways, tailgate is right there as well. So whole setup here, pretty standard. Nothing's really changed. Headliners, still the same. Universal garage door opener, all that all looks the same. Oh, I don't want to rip that window sticker off of the window, but this truck stickers for just over $69,000 with all the options it has included before any sort of market adjustment. The interior still, super super nice everything on this truck is really nice they didn't need to change a whole lot from this year they've just mostly offered different appearance packages which hopefully we'll get a couple of those trucks to go over in the future but let's take this 2020 limited out to see how it drives So as you can see, we are starting off here in the 2020 Ram 1500 Limited. It feels like just yesterday they came out with this new body style, but we are already on the second year, which I'm sure a lot of you are waiting for because most people don't like to buy the first year of anything. But starting off with road noise and ride quality, there's not a ton of road noise that comes in. This new platform they released in 2019, super, super solid on that side of things. And then ride quality is exceptionally smooth, especially for pickup truck. These 22s ride a little bit rougher than the 20s, so 
you will give up on ride quality a little bit but it's almost not noticeable i mean you have to drive the trucks back to back to really notice you can see handling here is really solid so the truck is pretty direct this i mean there's always going to be some vagueness with trucks you can see with the uh, steering but i mean in general it's pretty um direct with where it goes and it's really easy to maneuver in general so we are going to get a little acceleration here and see if this accelerates any differently than the 2019 and of course the little taco gets in my way wherever that is anyways though acceleration is completely fine you notice that it automatically lowered down from the off-road two to the off-road one because of my speed got over 30 miles an hour but yeah i mean the five seven hemi everything's unchanged so acceleration is identical but i mean it's strong for a truck now to sum things up if you are in the market for a truck i mean with this 2020 ram they haven't changed much from 2019 it's still the same truck but the ram really is still the best truck on the market for the general consumer so i i mean i don't have much else to say it has the nicest interior the ride quality is great it has more than enough power it's just a super super solid offering so if you're in the market for a new truck check out the new 2020 rams now there we have it everyone the all new 2020 ram 1500 limited again beautiful beautiful truck they have done a great job and I'm excited to do the additional packages like the black appearance group on this truck in the near future. But as always, if you are stopping for the first time, I'd really appreciate it if you'd subscribe, comment down below what you thought, and then I will see all of you in that next video. Oh, and of course, thank you to Larry H. Miller, Dodge Ram, Jeep Chrysler here in Sandy for providing us with the truck to review today.